I've spent the last few years working for one of the largest shockwave clinics in North America, and I've learned a thing or two about the power and untapped potential of regenerative medicine. But the march towards a future where sickness is healed from its root cause is challenged by the influence of big pharma and their deep pockets. So now we're forced to answer questions like, how do we get rid of joint pain, take back our performance in the bedroom, and heal diseases from the inside out without band-aid medications or negative side effects? This show will give you the answers. Follow along as I interview the world's top experts and doctors and how they transformed their lives and their patients' lives using the newest advances in biotechnology. I'm your host, Austin James Wolf, and you're listening to Modern Biotech Radio. Hey, what's up, biotech lovers? Okay, so today, uh, this is part two of a five episode series on shockwave therapy for erectile dysfunction, Peyronie's disease, and sexual performance. And so the question uh, I answered yesterday was, where did shockwave therapy for all this stuff come from? And today uh, I'm answering the question, does shockwave actually work for erectile dysfunction? Does shockwave actually work for Peyronie's disease? And does shockwave actually work for sexual performance? Um, So I want to delve back into the history just a little bit. So uh, they came up with this concept of shockwave therapy for treatment of all this stuff in Europe, and they've been doing it for a long time, decades. Uh, and so what they wanted to do was they wanted to make it more s- mainstream. And so a big wave brand company, I'm not going to name them by name. You probably have heard of them. Uh, what they wanted to do was they wanted to bring uh, this shockwave therapy for sexual performance into America. Uh, bringing anything into America is very, very, very hard to do. Uh, but over the course of I don't know how many years, but uh, they basically showed the FDA all the studies and the FDA recognized it. It's, it's different from FDA approval. Uh, by the way, I did another episode on this. FDA approval doesn't actually mean anything. Um, all the FDA approval means is uh, the FDA has, uh, the bureaucrats have said that the benefits of using a certain type of drug or treatment outweigh the risks. Doesn't mean it's safe. Doesn't mean it's effective. Uh, it's just bureaucrats giving their stamp of approval. That's it. That's all the FDA approval actually means. You can still take a drug and die from it. You can still take a drug and have not uh, not any effectiveness. Uh, it may not even work for you. But uh, basically, the point I'm trying to make is FDA approval isn't like a rule of thumb uh, as far as medicine goes uh, because something can be FDA approved and not be safe or effective. What should tell you what is giving you data is clinical data, clinical studies, um, actual hard evidence uh, on a type of drug or a type of treatment. So that trumps all even a bureaucrat's opinion, because FDA has been wrong before, many times before. Uh, But what isn't wrong is clinical studies. So anyway, uh, this big wave brand company started showing doctors and urologists, they're like, hey, this technology is FDA recognized, it's safe, there's no side effects, and look at all these studies, it works. It reverses patients' erectile dysfunction, it reverses patients' Peyronie's disease, and biohackers are using it to improve their sexual performance. Uh, And so they started just getting the word out there. And doctors and urologists, some of them are old uh, and stuck in their ways and only use things that are FDA approved. But other uh, doctors and urologists, I won't call them more open-minded, but um, they believe that hard evidence trumps bureaucrat opinions. Meaning they believe that, okay, if the clinical studies show evidence of it working, it doesn't matter if the FDA has approved it or not. It's safe and it works according to the hard data. Uh, and so these doctors and urologists started using it in their clinics and they started seeing great results. And that's why uh, you're hearing a lot of things about it now. Um, as far as us goes, <clears throat> uh, my dad, Dustin Wolf, uh, he first heard about it listening to a podcast of Joe Rogan. Uh, he has a big famous podcast if you haven't heard of him. Uh, Joe Rogan, and he was interviewing Ben Greenfield. Ben Greenfield is a big biohacker and uh, he's very well respected in the medical community, in fact. Um, and Ben Greenfield was talking about how he got this wave treatment down there to improve his sexual performance. He didn't have any problems down there in the first place, but the mechanisms behind shockwave therapy grow new blood vessels. And if you get more blood vessels, more rich oxygen- oxygenated blood to that area, uh, it can improve things down there. So uh, he got that uh, treatment done and they were talking about it on the podcast a couple years ago. And uh, my dad was like, oh my God, we got to use this in our clinic. Uh, And so we started using this wave therapy in our clinic, and we became one of the largest wave therapy clinics in North America to do this. In fact, we were the single largest uh, wave treatment clinic in North America um, for a time. And we were even doing more than the big wave brand, which was awesome. So anyway, we saw that works in our clinic. And, uh, you know, when we saw patients getting results, it was nice to see it, but it wasn't really a surprise because the clinical data had already told us that it worked, right? So uh, I'm actually going to go into two studies today, one on erectile dysfunction or sexual performance and one on Peyronie's disease, uh, just to prove my point. Uh, this is this one is from Urology International. Um, for those of you listening, I'm just going to read it off. If you're watching it 
uh, on YouTube. Uh, I have it up right here in front of me. So erectile dysfunction, treatment using focused, linear, low-intensity, extracorporeal shockwaves, single-blind, sham-controlled, randomized clinical trial, right? So basically what they did was they had people uh, with ED, and uh, one of them was the actual group where they gave the actual treatment to, and one of them was a placebo group um, where they didn't actually give them the, um, the pulses, the, the actual treatment itself. And what they found here in the conclusions was the randomized single-blind study confirms that LI-ESWT shockwave therapy significantly improves erectile function. I mean, it says it right there in the conclusion of this study. This came out in 20, uh, 2019, December. Okay, cool. A couple months ago as of uh, recording this. I'm going to read this conclusion again because this is awesome. Uh, conclusions. The randomized single blind study confirms that LI-ESWT shockwave therapy significantly improves erectile function. I mean, there it is, clear as day. Um, okay, so that's that's proof for erectile function. Uh, now let's go into Peyronie's disease. Um, for those of you listening, I'm just going to read the title off. Is low-intensity shockwave a favorable modality in the treatment of Peyronie's disease? Uh, the source is the 18th Congress of Iranian Urological Association. Cool. And this came out in 2015, by the way. Um, so here's the results. Uh, they're calling this the effective non-invasive modality for Peyronie's disease. All the patients, this is directly from the study, all the patients had improvement in erectile function, 100%. 30% had painful erections that all of them were relieved of after therapy, 100%. Okay, that's worded a little weird, but uh, Peyronie's disease can cause pain when you have an erection. So they're saying that all the people that had pain, all of them were relieved after the therapy. So um, yeah, it's pretty cool. So the studies don't, the studies don't lie. Um, the clinical evidence is as clear as day. That's why a lot more doctors and urologists are starting to use this now. Even though it's not FDA approved, it's FDA recognized and there's no negative side effects. So doctors are like, okay. Um, in fact, we were like this as well. We're like, okay, if it doesn't cause side effects and it works, we should do it. So we did. And patients have been getting great results and, and they're thanking us. In fact, we've saved a lot of relationships. Um, they were kind of failing because the guys had problems in the bedroom and and the girlfriend or the wife thought it was her problem. But then once we reversed that problem, um, all that went away and, and they had more intimacy and more connection afterwards for obvious reasons. So anyway, uh, long story short, yes, it does work for erectile dysfunction. It does work for Peyronie's disease and it does work for improving erectile function, sexual performance in general. All the studies say so. Um, so yeah, guys, that's it. Uh, if you want to know more, I'm putting links in the show notes to all these studies that I talked about in the episode and I'll see you next time. Are you a guy that wants to upgrade your sexual performance using the newest advances in biotech, but don't want anything with negative side effects? Listen up. If you've been in this space for a while, you've probably heard about low-intensity shockwave therapy, or as the FDA likes to call it, acoustic wave therapy. Over time, your blood vessels down there start to build up with microplaque. This is what drags down your performance over time and is the leading root cause of erectile dysfunction. But acoustic wave therapy has been proven in dozens of clinical trials to safely break up and remove the microplaque with no side effects other than improved blood flow in that area. It can also cause angiogenesis, which means the formation of new blood vessels. So if you get acoustic wave therapy down there, it can help reverse the effects of aging and help you get more blood flow than ever to that area. Unfortunately, you have to take time off work take off your pants in front of a nurse and get this treatment once a week for six to 12 weeks. And you have to pay around $500 for every treatment. That's $3,000 to $6,000. Most men couldn't afford this or didn't live near a clinic or were even too embarrassed to get treatment. I know this because I helped run the largest shockwave clinic for sexual performance in North America. That's right. We've done more treatments per clinic than anyone else on the continent. But we wanted to help people who either couldn't afford this treatment or didn't live near a clinic like ours. So we teamed up with a brilliant inventor who found a way to turn this revolutionary treatment into a home use device called the Rocket. That's just as effective as the $40,000 devices used in clinics around the world. Now, you can get this life-changing treatment in the privacy of your own home and at a price that's finally affordable for virtually everyone. Just go to GetMyRocket.com to learn more. After we made the rocket, we tested it on a force plate to make sure it had the same energy output as the $40,000 machines used in clinics like ours. It did. Then we tested it on ourselves. 
Once we knew it worked and was safe with no negative side effects, we ran our own clinical trials on our patients. Every man and their partners saw an improvement in his ability to perform in the bedroom. If you'd like to upgrade your performance in the bedroom, just go to getmyrocket.com to learn more. Forbes has already called the rocket a multi-billion dollar industry disrupting device because guys don't need the blue pill after they use it. And biohackers who are looking for that extra edge don't need to pay three grand to six grand anymore. If you'd like to learn more about this revolutionary device that's now making waves in the medical community, just go to getmyrocket.com. Doctors and urologists are now even prescribing the rocket to their patients. But you don't need a doctor's permission to upgrade your sex life. Just go to getmyrocket.com to learn more. If you'd like to upgrade your performance safely and effectively with no negative side effects, but don't want to take time off work and drive to a clinic six to 12 times and pay $3,000 to $6,000, if you'd like to avoid all that and upgrade your performance in the privacy of your own home, check out The Rocket. Just go to getmyrocket.com. I'll see you there, Rocket Man.